Hi, I'm Abby, a lead clinical pharmacist at With You. In this video, we'll show you how to use a drug self-test strip safely and accurately. Firstly, gather all the things you'll need. A container of clean water, a five mil spoon, a teaspoon will do, something to measure the sample with, for example, a scoop if you have one, or a knife, something to hold the test mixture, your sample to test, and your test strip. These are the types of kit available from With You. Today we're using the nitazine test, but they all work in much the same way. This is the amount of powder needed. If you have a scoop, use it. If not, the amount of powder that fits into the zero on a 20p piece is about right. Mix the sample thoroughly and crush it well. Add one scoop, which is about 5 to 10 milligrams of the sample, to every 5 mil teaspoon of water. Stir it well until it's fully dissolved. Next, open the test strip. Be careful not to touch the white section. Holding the coloured end, or the end which says which strip you're using, dip the test strip into the sample for 15 seconds. Ensure the wavy lines are covered, but the solid line is not. Some tests have a max line. Make sure you don't get water past this point. Remove the test strip from the sample and lay it on a flat, hard surface. Wait for about 60 seconds for the result to appear. One line next to the C block means a positive result. Two lines next to the C and T blocks indicate a negative result. It doesn't matter how faint the lines are, two lines always mean a negative test. Any other result means that the test has failed and is invalid. A negative test result does not mean that the sample is safe to use. If the result is positive, there is a high risk you may overdose. Always follow the harm reduction advice provided. Have someone who can help you if you overdose. Start with a small amount and space out your doses. Try to take one drug at a time. If someone overdoses, put them in the recovery position or on their side and dial 999. If you have naloxone, give it and stay with the person. They may need multiple doses until help arrives. Stay safe and always seek help if you need it. For more information, contact with you or your local support service.